It's Michigan one, the Canadians nothing. Fabian McCarty, the big, strong cleanup hitter here for the Canadians. Set to go. Canadians went down one, two, three. Three fly ball outs in the first inning. A swing and a foul evens the count on the cleanup hitter at one ball and one strike. Barna and Hillock to follow. And a swing and a foul. Good cut that time by McCarty. We're in the bottom of the second inning. A 1-0 lead for Michigan. Left-hander waves the bat. Here's the right-hander's delivery, and he came up with a real slow changeup that missed outside. And now the count is even on the Canadians' leadoff hitter at two balls, two strikes, or cleanup hitter, and he fouls this one out of play. A very efficient inning for both pitchers. The bottom of the first for Mike Fiorenzo and then Randy ends after giving up two hits and a run. And that ball hit the batter, and he's going to take first. The first base runner of the ball game is Fabian McCarty and now Dennis Barna. Umpire just making sure that there is no extracurricular activity going on. We're in the bottom half of the second inning and a 1-0 Michigan lead. Barna is the fifth batter in the lineup here for the Comox Canadians, and he has been hit by a pitch. So as good as uh, Fiorenzo was in that first inning, getting the Canadians down one, two, three, he has hit the first two batters to start the second. And here's Colin Hillock. Colin takes a pitch outside, ball one. First and second, no out. The 1-0 pitch. Two balls and no strikes. And now all of a sudden, Mr. Fiorenzo is having major control problems. Chopper to the left side. The third baseman, he will try to go to the bag. He didn't have the ball. He didn't have the ball, and all hands are safe. That's going to be a tough ruling. I think you got to rule that one an infield hit. And one of the umpires called him out. I don't know why he did that. The third baseman never had the ball in Chris Cook. Umpires want to discuss this. Of course, that's one of the disadvantages of having just two umpires. Uh, oh, you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. That is a horrible call. That is a horrible call. He never had the ball. He never had the ball. And, folks, that may very well be the worst call you will ever see from an umpire. That might be the worst in MSBL World Series history. Well, that's going to go as a fielder's choice. Boy, I'll tell you, it was plain as day. I mean, that ball was lying, what, six, seven, eight feet away from the bag. He never had it. He never came up with it cleanly. And it should be an infield hit, and the base is loaded, nobody out. So here's Bill. Takes a curve, and it's in there for a called strike. I cannot believe they made that call. That's outside. Good eye by Grimmard, starting center fielder. Two on and one out. And that ball is going to get away from the catcher. It went right over the hitter's head. And now they're on second and third. I don't know what has happened to Mike Fiorenzo. He looked really solid in that first inning, and he has just come completely unraveled here in the second inning. He's hit two batters and almost hit Bill on that last pitch. 
It's a situation. You hit four guys in a ball game and you're out. Pitch. And here's a ball hit up the middle. Knocked down by the second baseman. He throws low to first. He gets away from the first baseman. And two runs should score on this one. And just like that, the Canadians lead it two to nothing. Or check that two to one. A throwing error on the second baseman. Allows two runs to come across. 